Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, which will be very short today, we're going to be talking about this, which is uh, a uh, an announcement by Ubuntu that was made on the 15th of October, just a couple of days ago, that they are now working on their second iteration for getting Snapdragon X Elite working in a general way on Ubuntu 2410. So I brought up the uh, I'll put it, I'll put this URL uh, down below where you can you can click on it and read it for yourself. But as you can see, they have a uh, a version of this running on the ThinkPad T14 Gen 6, and uh, and that is a Snapdragon uh, X Elite that is running 2410 here. I don't know if you can. Yeah, it just says for the graphics card, there's a Drino. So this is iteration two. Uh, and I started this at the end of September. It says our last concept uh, image focused exclusively on the Lenovo ThinkPad X13s. So now they want to try something more ambitious, which is a single Ubuntu image that just works. They. You know, a lot of people they don't want to use this DTB thing that the uh, you know that the uh, Qualcomm folks came up with because that makes it you know very specific to a particular laptop and doesn't make it general enough to be able to run it across a number of drag X uh, uh, Snapdragon X Elite based laptops or even you know uh, like their developer platforms either so. So it says, currently, the image is known to work best on Lenovo's ThinkPad T14s. And they're working to expand the list as we're looking for help. And uh, and so if you look down here, they tell you what works. So they have successful installations on the Dell XPS 13, the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 6. That's for both 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte of memory, and then the Lenovo uh, Yoga Slim 7X. Devices that partially work, and they're waiting kind of for more feedback on this one, there's the one I have, which is the Asus VivoBook uh, S15. So my intent today is to go through the process of installing uh, this. I'll let you know, this is the instruction right here in order to get the firmware though is that you have to do this install of this Qualcomm firmware extract and then run it on Linux in order to copy the image over from uh, your Windows partition onto Linux so that your machine will run. So, uh, yeah, all the source code is publicly available, and uh, there's a PPA as well as Git repositories under the... This is a concept... This is not an officially released or, or supported uh, uh, endeavor, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. I told you I said I would give you periodic updates on what's going on, and this is where we're at. So if you feel adventurous and maybe you want to give uh, Ubuntu some feedback, uh, this might be a way uh, to do that. Currently, this does not support the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge, or the Microsoft Surface Pro 11. And, the, you know, there are more machines on that list than this. So as people try this out and report back in, they have, uh, they have a way to open the bug report and file what you found. Yeah, so there's device trees, grub config, kernel, et cetera, to get it working on more hardware. So if you want to take an active uh, part in participating in this endeavor, uh, they're offering you a chance to do that. <laughs> That's all I had for right now. Just trying to give you guys a, a more current update of what's going on. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, like and subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.